welcome back to my channel it's Maya and it's currently 6 p.m. and I thought today I would have a little bit of a self-care night um, so yeah as you guys saw I just had a target run me and my mom got some things but the best thing that we got obviously was the chocolates this is a, literally my favorite chocolate brand ever not sponsored just so delicious but anyways today I also had a tennis lesson so I should probably take a shower except I don't really want to take a shower but so I'm gonna do a bubble bath because that is very much will set me into a mood for the rest of this video so I guess let's have a bubble bath but before we do that. My room is not the cleanest right now. I mean, I chose a clean spot to film this part, but otherwise. And while I'm waiting for the tub to fill up, I'm gonna quickly fix myself a snack to have when I'm in the bath. Ready. Here we have some carrot juice, which I should probably drink right now because it's freshly made. A candle, a plant, take like my book. I've been reading this book for like almost a month now. It's taking me forever to finish and I just really want to finish it already and get it over with. So I plan on finishing the last 50 pages of this right, right here, here, right, right now, now in this set. And then we have some bell peppers and new shampoo and conditioner that we got at Target today. I'm going to try it out. Also some mandarins. And over here we have another candle. This is my favorite candle set ever, Heritage Pumpkin. So yeah, I'm just gonna hop into the bath now. Obviously won't be recording that part. shower now my hair is very wet and I'm in my bathroom now because I was taking a bath in my mom's bathroom because she has a bath and I don't have a shower anyways I changed into some comfy clothes and the time right now is let me check 7 55 p.m. I spent a good time in that bath. I've had a bath in a very long time so I was really just enjoying myself and reading a lot even though I still didn't finish that book so Anyways, um, I thought that maybe now I should wash off my makeup. I probably should have done that before I took my bath, but oh well. At the time I remember now, because I fell asleep with my makeup on way too many times before, and I honestly don't wear makeup that often, but when I do, I sometimes forget to take it off. This is the only thing I use to take off my makeup. It's my cellar water. Face. Is there anything else to this? When you take off your makeup, you just feel like you look prettier without the makeup? I don't know. But yeah, this is the fit. We have this sweatshirt, which I cut off the neckline because it was very uncomfortable, the neckline, which is the reason I never wore the sweater. Great tank top. And I'm wearing these really flowy pants, I guess. I'm now going to use a different cleanser, this fruit and slime cleanser, which I've been using recently. I don't know if I recommend it or not because, I don't know, it hasn't been that long since I started using it, but... Time for a face mask. I don't use face masks that often, and I honestly never really saw any results from them, but today I'll be using this. Oh, and also, I believe that self-care night should be every night, and self-care should just be every single day, every single hour, every single minute that you're living, that you're breathing, you should be prioritizing yourself. But I feel like the point of these videos, self-care nights, or self-care vlog, or self-care day, is just like putting in a bunch of self-care things into one day, kind of like an ultimate self-care thing you know um so yeah i'm gonna try out this mask i think i tried this mask before and i was thinking about using this pumpkin mask it smells really good like it makes me want to eat it um but my mom said that may cause redness and my face is already a bit red from doing my skincare so i'll be using this by the time i hear back i probably should have must my mustache before i did that Want to wax the mustache. I should probably take off this mask first though. Okay. So here I have this little wax heater. And here I have some wax. 
So two plus two equals four. This is really simple. Looks like candy. How much do I need? Oh, heat up, little babies. I'm just gonna. I feel like a witch during my little cauldron. That torture's out of the way. Mustache equals gone. Now I am going to watch some well deserved episodes of Exo Kitty. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go watch something downstairs on the TV. Take that, Netflix. It's 11.42 p.m. and I need to go to bed, obviously. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna continue reading this tonight. I might finish it tomorrow. I am very much looking forward to finishing this so I can start reading something else. If you're wondering what I'm going to be reading next, I'm not sure yet. Maybe The Fall of the School for Good and Evil or maybe Tokyo Dreaming. I don't know. It's full of maybes. Maybe I'll pick something else. But you can follow my Goodreads. It's linked down below to stay tuned on what I'm currently reading and how I'm currently liking it in my book reviews and stuff. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show you guys a crochet project that I recently finished and I'm really proud of it. I finished it today. Here it is. Ta-da! I'm done with it. If you guys watched my last video or my last last video, then you would have seen me crocheting the sleeves for this and I finished it. I made it longer than what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be like a shrug or a bolero, one of you guys said. Um, but I made it longer, so it's like a cropped sweater. And I'm gonna try it on and show you guys what it looks like. Ta -da! Let me get a better angle. I still didn't cut off these strings on the sides, um, but I think I'll do that tomorrow. Ignore that for now. But here it is. Anyways, I'm just gonna go to bed now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little self-care night. And don't forget to follow my socials. They're all linked down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.